Nexus Green Group. Subject: Interview with Stephen Alaric. Body. On 7-29-2021, we got the chance to speak with talented actor Stephen Alaric about his role as Snake Eyes' father in the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins movie. Here's what we could show you from that G14 classified recording. Spoilers ahead, so proceed with extreme caution. Access granted. Joining me now is a very talented actor, famous for his roles in The Expanse and NCIS Los Angeles, to name but a few. And of course, the reason we've got him on the show with us today, because he plays a key role in the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins movie as Snake Eyes' father, who ends up being pretty central in his motivations throughout the film. Please welcome Stephen Alaric to the show. First off, Stephen, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, how, how are you doing? You, thanks for having me. I, I'm I'm great, man. It's it's a lovely day here in LA, so I'm having a good time. I'm glad it's sunny where you are. It's raining here, pretty much. Oh no, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'll bring all the flowers, though. You know, so it's a good thing. Exactly. It's going to look very lush afterwards. That's right. Uh, that's amazing, man. So you're in LA right now. Whereabouts? I am uh, Redondo Beach. Ooh, that sounds you know gorgeous. <laughs> it is. It is. I'm lucky. Like I'm. I'm just a few minutes away from the beach. Oh. From you know, yeah, from the water. It's beautiful. So you're wasting time with me today when you could be out there <laughs> enjoying. Listen, yourself. anybody that has that cool of a hat, I cannot not <laughs> hang out with. That is the coolest hat I've seen. I'm jealous because I didn't get one. Oh, mate. So I, gotta, I gotta go online and find this thing now, man. Good luck finding this one. Um, if I can find another one for you, though, don't worry. I'll grab your address and send it your direction. Um, Deal. All right. <laughs> well, let's get let's get stuck into this. Let's get stuck into this interview because I've been wanting to speak to you. Actually, what, what's really interesting is that, um, we actually reported on your casting on this film like years ago I, I think oh it really was, it was a long time ago we did i remember doing the report i remember someone else i believe someone else had been cast for the for the role and then either they couldn't do it for whatever reason and then i remember seeing that your casting had come up for it and we did a report on it and we we discussed you in the expanse and we just discussed you in like other shows that you'd been in uh like you know we were both uh, i think myself and justin were both saying you know really recognizable we just recognize him from like loads of different films and right. loads of different shows because that's you've kind of got quite a resume haven't you like quite a, a long resume yeah i mean i i've been fortunate you know um to to work fairly steadily here you know um this is sort of in a long way since i i when i was young i uh i played the uh teen simba in lion king on stage yes and since then, this is probably kind of the most significant thing that I've done. Okay. Uh, not not to not to downplay everything else. Everything else has been great, but it's you know it's sort of the kind of the the kind of far the thing with the farthest reach. You yes. know what I mean? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and, and as far I, I actually saw your 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 coverage of that. I, it was it was so cool to see your coverage of me. I was so flattered. <laughs> you know? um, I think what happened, you know, I, my story with that is when I um, was up for it, yeah. I looked on IMDB and I saw somebody's picture there and I was like, that's not me. So why? <laughs> right. Why? Well, no, it was even before I was cast. And uh, I was right. like, so why, why are they even seeing me? Like what's going on? And I just think uh, from my understanding, someone put their own, like they, they submitted themselves to. So that might be why you thought someone was cast. That's interesting. Before. That's really you know, because interesting. I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, what's happening? I mean, not that it really matters, no. you know, they, you know how the end result is kind of what, what's important, you know <laughs> exactly. what I mean? But, but uh, you know, it, it was just that weird journey of going, why, why are they auditioning me for this if, if they've got somebody, yeah. you know? Yeah, so, that must have yeah. been, um, that must have been odd going into the audition then. Oh, well, could you tell, I mean, what can you tell us about the audition? How did that go? So, successfully um, by the sounds of things <laughs> yeah no it was um you know it came at a really interesting point in my life you know i was you know working luckily but you know looking to kind of move forward and yeah. and, and you know so i i'm i'm canadian i'm born and raised in toronto awesome and i said to myself uh you know, you need to kind of do something different and use this to your advantage. You're Canadian. So I, I took a chance. I went up to Vancouver for five weeks. I was just like, there's a lot of stuff filming up there. I, I might go up there and not like even be seen by anybody, yeah. but I'm going to take the chance. And I went up there and I, I booked a, a film. I booked uh, an episode of uh, uh, Supernatural. Brilliant. And, then, and then this came along. So the process for this started in Vancouver 
And then my five weeks were up. So I came back here and the process sort of finished here. Right. So, right. you know, I, I think I had altogether, I think I had three auditions. Wow. Which is great. And the last one was with Robert. Robert was via Zoom. <laughs> you know, then this was before, you know, everything happened with the pandemic. Exactly, but it yeah. was like, it was, it was I, I think he was in, he's from Germany. So I, I believe he was in Germany at the time. Right. So, so we did it that way. That's and, amazing. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. so cool. Okay, so I know that wasn't on the uh, the plan originally, but I just I got there was a lot of a sudden I was like, oh, the auditions. Yeah, let's talk about that. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> I'm, I'm open. Let's talk, man. I'm here to talk. So <laughs> awesome. Well, in that case, in that case, let's uh, let's dis- well, let's let's talk about. I mean, what what did you know about GI Joe before kind of going into this? Was this something that you had like no real idea about, or you knew like of it like peripherally? I mean, what was your what was your kind of connection with it? Hey, man, as a kid. I loved Snake Eyes. Amazing. Like, he was one of the toys that I would always play with. He and my older brother was, you know, heavy in the comics and stuff. Yeah. So, um, so Snake Eyes was, G.I. Joe and Snake Eyes was a huge part of my childhood. That's so, fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, hearing this and hearing, you know, what they did with the uh, origin story, you know, it's it's fairly faithful, I, you know, but but it's updated for for modern times. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, Larry Hama, the, uh, the, the creator of it, the writer of the comic books who created that backstory for Snake Eyes, uh, you know, signed off on it and, and stuff. So, uh, I was really excited to see how they were going to do yeah. that. So yes, I was very familiar with GI Joe and very familiar with Snake Eyes. No wonder you snapped this role up then really quick because like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd have been the same. I'd have been like, right, this is my life's work right now. I'm going for this. Oh man, it's like, <laughs> man, I've been I've been preparing for this since I was like six. That's so amazing. I'm about to get it. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad you did because I mean, well, let's talk about your character in the actual film as well because we kind of were introduced to you and uh, and Snake Eyes as a young lad played by Max Archibald. Give him a shout out here. Um, first off, how was it working Great, with... How, yeah, I was going to say, how was it working Not with Max? Not to put you off. Yeah, no, he... Um, what um, a professional child. And I mean that in the best sense because, yeah. you know, like I've been on shows where, you know, child actors, because they're constantly like Im- immersed in an adult world, you know, it, they they feel like adults. And he was professional, but he was still a child. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. he still had his innocence about him. He still, and I, I love that about him. Such a such a sweet and great kid. Awesome. Uh, very easy to work with. And uh, man, I, I I'm I honestly look forward to seeing what he does in the future because, like, you know, Robert would ask him to do something, and bang, he would just do it. Like. Yeah, yeah. He was he was really really great to work with. It's actually interesting as well. I mean, obviously that relationship clearly, you know, the fact that you got on with each other comes across on screen because it you look like naturally like the dad and the son kind of thing. There's like a good feeling there. Do you know what I mean? Like, especially when because well, one one thing I'll talk about actually is like you're not really on screen for a long period of time, but you kind of still manage to make the audience feel for the character like you see the worry and concern when talking about the, like the safe house the fear when you wake him up and try to leave and especially the relief and almost acceptance when he kind of gets away and you know you're just gonna have so like it, it, even though you're on the screen for a short period of time there's that that feeling is kind of portrayed really well and i think is was that really due to the fact that you had such a good relationship with max in the, in the first I, I place i think it's related to a lot of things so first i want to say thank you for saying that you're you welcome know, uh, you, you, I'm just I'm just saying it. I, I hated it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I log when we log off, I'm oh, going like, to be like, oh, "Honey, it. check this this guy seriously." <laughs> <laughs> no, you know it, it's funny. Um, that that's a major part of it is is a relationship with Max. Yeah, but um, you know, I walked into it knowing sort of my the importance of my role. Yeah, yeah. You know, as an actor, for me. It's not necessarily about the size of the role. It's about the impact. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and I saw this when I saw this, I was like, man, I, I, I have one of the most important jobs, probably the most important job of the non-central characters that Absolutely. you could have. Absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I, this is the heart. And if people don't buy this relationship with his son and they don't care about it, then the movie doesn't work. Yeah, so yeah. it was very apparent to me. And I did as much work as I could, as I could, you know, I'm, I'm a father of two. So it wasn't the hardest thing to relate. 
but um but yeah the the importance of that wasn't lost on me yeah yeah you know, especially yeah. day one of shooting you know we're, we're we're in vancouver in the house okay and, right. uh yeah and and you know augustine's coming for me uh i'll, I'll say no more about that but augustine's <laughs> coming for me and you know there was a moment where i was like whoa like this is centering on me yeah like this huge house this crew of like <laughs> felt like a thousand you know <laughs> the crews that I, this is centering and if i don't you know everybody else could kind of falter and it'll be okay i don't have you've got that to nail it. you've got to nail it in you that know? short amount of time I, absolutely yeah gotta got do it yeah i got gotta do it so i i really told myself you know my goal here is that if people i want people to watch this if the only clip they see is that first clip i want them to go man i haven't I don't know. I haven't talked to my dad in yeah. 12 I did weeks. the same. I was like, you know, being you know? out here in the US and dad being out in the UK, like the COVID restrictions, right. everything. I was the same. I was like, little tear coming out. I'm like, oh, I want to speak to my dad. Yeah, man. <laughs> so you know, that that, and that's it. So, so that, that was the goal. That, and yes, of course, the, the relationship with Max was... Yeah very helpful could have had a more you know a different child and, and it wouldn't have been the same absolutely i mean well one thing i will say is like that those kind of situations as well you could almost fall into like overacting a little bit just to kind of try and make the point but that wasn't right. the case at all like i definitely like i said there was that you got that feeling you got that kind of instant kind of like you know caring for the situation and, and what snake eyes had to go through so that was like you know successful in my opinion so well, well done you. in that in that sense and, yeah. and you know, I gotta, I gotta give. As we're talking about it, I mean, I have to shout out the entire crew. You know what oh, I mean? Like a yeah. performance, performance never belongs to one person. Maybe there were takes that were a little bigger than life, but you know, someone <laughs> chose, someone chose this, and and someone framed us and lit us, yeah. and the situation was written for us. So I mean, you know, as much as I I, I appreciate all the things that you're saying, I have to also, of course, yeah, hand, hand it to them. As no, well. no, it was all you. It was all you, yeah. Stephen. <laughs> Screw the rest. I'd like of to them. believe that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> can we call um, it, it can we call it Stephen G.I. Joe Origins from now on? I think you know what? I mean I, I tried to get them to change a name to exactly <laughs> that. They didn't go for it. I don't know what happened. I'm really upset about that. Um I had a little Easter egg for you too, man, as we're talking about this when we were shooting that scene. Yeah. You know, uh, and this is not spoiling anything, but one of the lines that I say to Max is what you're afraid i'm going to steal your baseball cards oh, you know yeah and so uh i we've done a couple takes on my close-up and i go uh i i improvised and i was like uh you know you uh you're afraid i'm going to steal your transformers amazing because it's has because yeah. robert came out of the tent and he goes steven very cheeky <laughs> very cheeky i was like man I'll, I'll say it right this time i'll say it right that's brilliant that's brilliant uh, it, was, it was just fun and max was like but but it's the same company i'm hoping you use it same, okay, yeah i'm really hoping that deleted scenes creeps out with yeah, that right? that would be amazing <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was that was cool. I, they could have dropped that in for the crossover, couldn't they? Let's face it, the GI Joe Transformers yeah, maybe, crossover. You know, that would have been that would have been funny. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah. Um, uh, cool. Uh, um, well, you're talking about that that actual intro scene of, like I said, it's not it's not a long scene, but it is intense. It goes on for you know, it, it's over a period of like a day and an evening. How long right. did it take to actually complete that whole that whole scene for you? Um, we shot that um here in la and that was i think it was only a day oh wow took, okay yeah it just took a few hours to do it didn't take that long that's amazing so, was there what were you doing in vancouver was that um were you doing any filming in vancouver or was it all done in la no um we that was the safe house stuff so all oh, the stuff okay. inside the house was done in vancouver oh, i see i and, see and, you know all the um the special shots and the you know, uh, I, I won't say it's just some of the extras. There, there was more involved in the safe house, you got know you, what I mean? And then there was in the forest. So the forest was easy to kind of kind of just kind of walk through and do a few times for different camera angles. Yeah. But the, uh, but the house stuff well, uh, it took a little bit more to do. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, so as I mentioned in the intro, you, you, um, when, 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 in fact, what we've been talking about a little bit, the role is actually a very important one. Sets the tone for Snake Eyes motivations of revenge and so on. Is it rewarding to have that kind of impact on the plot? I mean, do you kind of do you feel that? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, again, this is this is why we do it. You know, like I, I don't know. I can't really I can't speak for everybody else. But but for me, 
that's the reason why I do it for impact. Yeah. The reason why I act, the reason why I do anything is impact. The reason why we make stories is to change people's perspective, yeah. you know, to make them feel something. So uh, to have that significant of a role in something this huge man i you know like if nothing else if that's the last thing i do um um I, I consider myself one of the luckiest people on earth for being able to do that and 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 to have that specific role in in this kind of movie absolutely um and like you obviously make a second appearance during the during the snake ghost warrior challenge i do um where he sees you in kind of like a vision um i mean it's another emotional scene but once again you do really well to kind of like again to make that impact uh, was that I take it this would, would this have been done in Vancouver as well no this is actually done in Japan amazing so you got to do yeah. this on like in oh brilliant tell us all yeah. about Japan everything <laughs> tell us everything <laughs> about the history about everyone that's ever lived there <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say man how much how much time we got we've got like <laughs> 16 hours so just go all right nuts. let's go <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know it's the first time I've been over to Asia yeah I'm half Asian um, and and uh, it was the first time going over there, and whew, the the culture, the food, the like, just to experience all of that. Yeah, yeah. You, oh, man, it was amazing. And then you know, uh, to be on set, you know, yeah. I'd met Hen Henry before. Yeah. But that was the first time that I actually was on camera with him. That's great. I'm and, so happy to and, hear that you were actually on camera with Henry, and it wasn't like one of those you know, like sh shot separately kind of scenarios, you know right, what I mean? Right, right. No, we were, we were right there playing off of each other. Brilliant. And I mean, the guy, you know, the guy's a movie star for a reason, you know what I mean? He, he's charming, he's, he's kind. He's all right. Yeah, <laughs> he's all right, he's you know. Okay. It, you know. <laughs> I don't want to talk ill of him, but no, no he's, he's, uh, no, he's, he's, he's I, I mean it, man. In person, the guy is, is charming and, and kind and, and just genuine. Like awesome. you just, you, you meet him and you kind of know who he is within the first two seconds of meeting him. Um, so to, to have the opportunity to share the screen with him that way, um, again, something I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. That's man. great. That's so awesome. And it's, again, a really good scene really sad as well a little you know the kind of there's a lot of emotion in that um well you know i say you know i'm not gonna yeah it's sad uh, <laughs> so uh, there's one like okay well we've kind of we've kind of come to the end and we can't go into too many danger spoilers here but i right. will say i will say that there's one very interesting aspect that reveals itself at the end of this film which like i said we can't mention it but I will right. say that it helped to build out a way more rounded character for yourself. Um, those who have seen the movie will understand what I'm saying here. Uh, has there been any talk with you about possible future movies and maybe doing some kind of like flashback stuff? There hasn't. Um, you know, that's it's it's up to wh what they do from here on out. And I, I think I'll make a call. Um, I'll make a call, Stephen. Don't worry. Please do. I mean, you're right there by Hasbro. Don't call. Show up. Just walk Go in. Go knock on the door for me, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, um, I I'll say this. I know for one thing that um, the, you know, some plans go forward and other ones, you know, you wait to see what's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. But, but I will also say that I think in my mind, there's such a a unique opportunity to use that character to tell more stories absolutely that's I, beautifully I so. said by the way that's fantastic <laughs> thank you man i feel like i'm walking a tight you are you know? literally the most professional person i've ever met in my life for that that's <laughs> superb yeah no that's that's so, so i mean we, we'll, we'll see and if 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 it's in the cards i think there's a, an opportunity to tell some really cool stories and if it's not then you know then the the the, the property is going to go on and kill anyway <laughs> well i will say this i would love to have you back for flashbacks on in future films like a hundred percent um you're an absolutely top top dude i'm so happy to have actually had this opportunity to chat with you thank you so much for jumping on and spending time just you know chatting with me i really really appreciate it mate really appreciate Man, it I I appreciate it more than you appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's Thank impossible. you for letting me do this. That's impossible. Uh, you're welcome, <laughs> man. Um, I mean, we'd love to have you on again. Like, you know, if any, if any kind of like projects kind of cross over again, maybe if like there's any kind of, you know, future stuff, we'd love to have you back on the show. We'd love to chat man, more. I, I will keep. I will keep you posted. Thank you very much. 
just right, yeah, just keep te- just keep messaging me. That's fine. Every day. Uh, I just want people to know. Like I've got all these like famous friends that just you know out of, <laughs> every now and again just message me for no reason. I'm kidding. That doesn't happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, are there any projects you can discuss? Um, you know that you're working on at the moment that or you know stuff that's coming up in the future that you can talk that about? I can that I can discuss. No. Okay. But you've got stuff on the on the horizon, I take it. I, I've got a few. I got a few things on the horizon, um, but some of them are in their infancy. Okay. You know? Yeah. I, I guess I can say this. Um, there are two projects. I have. I have a short film that I just finished uh, shooting. Brilliant. I know typically, you know, short films don't have the same stigma as as you know, a feature or TV, but this one is really, really special to me. Awesome. Um, uh, and so uh, I'm so excited that it's it's done. Um, I will share it with you when it's done. The other thing is a feature film uh, that I wrote that uh, deals a lot with my heritage. Fantastic. Um, yeah, and and so that's got some movement forward, and now it's just a matter of kind of dotting some eyes and crossing some T's, and and hopefully it'll. Uh, it'll come to fruition in the future. Fantastic. Well, like, like I said, it's, it's funny when, when I do these kind of things and if I ever, you know, speak to people like in this kind of scenario, I'll always look out for them. Like, you know, like in other films and other things like that. And it's always like, you know, oh yeah, I spoke to that guy or like, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So that I'm definitely 100% going to be looking out for all of these things in the future. And yeah, as soon as you're allowed to say anything about it, please send them over. And I'd love, I'd love to see a lot of this stuff. Really interested. And, and I, I, I love that. Thanks so much. No worries, man. All the luck to you with everything. And again, thanks for jumping on. Absolutely appreciate it more than you could ever realize. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's it for this installment of the Full Force Redacted. Thank you to my wonderful guest, Stephen Alaric. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time. And as always, Full, full Force! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, you're the best. Make sure you get involved with the discussion by liking, sharing and commenting on these videos and as always you can keep up with the show after listening by following on Twitter at The Full Force, liking the Facebook page facebook.com forward slash The Full Force and if you would like to contact the show you can message us on either of those platforms with feedback and questions. We also have a Patreon page, so if you want to show your support for the show, see your name up in lights on these videos, or enjoy exclusive bonus content, then check out patreon.com forward slash the full force podcast, or click the link on any of the posts this podcast appears in. Full force. Access green.